Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to introduce the next segment of the forum, that of the HCT Employees Rewards and Incentives, which recognise outstanding contributions by HCT employees in the following categories. Outstanding employee, exceptional employee, unknown soldier, creative employee, and community work. So I would like to invite Dr. Ahmed Sami to the stage to present the awards. Dear HCT family members, greetings and welcome to the HCT Biannual Academic Forum 2020. We are here to celebrate our success and appreciate our great exceptional efforts in achieving HCT goals and objectives. On 4th of November 2019, our CEO and President, Dr. Abdulatif Al Shamsi, announced the HCT's rewards and incentive system. We're trying to recognize the efforts of outstanding employees involved in the enhancement of HCT success and promoting institutional loyalty and teamwork. And then the journey began. The nomination started from the vice presidents and campus's executive directors to award their best employees competing in five different reward categories. The Outstanding Employee Award, which is granted to an employee who has won one of the Institutional Excellence Award at HCT or at the level of the federal government. The Exceptional Employee Award, which is granted to those who have dedicated exceptional efforts beyond the scope of their job duties and their performance objectives and led to a successful achievement in HCT. The Unknown Soldier Award which is granted to dedicated employee performing outstanding work with adherence to code of conduct, working hours, and with a positive attitude to employer. The Creative Employee Award, which is granted to an employee who has submitted innovative and creative ideas, which had a great positive impact on achieving HCT strategic goals. And finally, the Community Employee Award, it is granted to those who have contributed to highlight the role of HCT in the area of community service by voluntary work and membership in community services associations. A very specific evaluation criteria was created for each reward category. 37 employees have been nominated for awards and passed successfully to the general criteria and ensure that they are eligible for nomination as per the HR records. The entire full evaluation process, including initial screening, one-to-one, -one, Zoom or phone meetings, revising all nomination forms, HR and performance records for all nominees. 17 nominees have fulfilled the requirements as per the reward category criteria, and they are the winners for 2019 rewards. We are proud to have a say thank you from our heart to them, and to everyone contributed to the success of HCT. For those who are going extra miles, dedicated extra efforts, and went beyond expectations, keep up the good work. We highly appreciate your contribution in HCT success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, HCT. Thank you, and I would uh, uh, just there's a very important word that is going out from the very start of the day, that it's all about the people. That is the strong foundation. That is why we have success story. I know that you've been here for about a couple of hours. And when I came this morning, I had a um, uh, request from Dr. Abdul Latif. He told me you need to make this exciting. And I'm the last one you would ask to make something exciting. But he is the boss, so I've got to do something about this. And I'm asking for your help. So help me out or I'm out of this HCT. But I love HCT. I don't want to be out of HCT. So bring your energy back, right? You'll be um, witnessing award winners. They are employees. They are your colleagues. When you see them coming out on the stage, I want to hear you cheering for them. Not really cheering for them, you know, not just clapping. We've done enough clapping today. My hands are already, you know. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, let's get serious for about a couple of minutes just to let you know. You've, you've seen the video. That's the process that we've gone through. 
we wanted to make sure that it is as transparent as possible and as effective and rigorous as possible. We really took the nominations really seriously. Very good people, really good people. All the 37 nominations that we have received, we were hoping that we can award all of them, but we have a criteria in place that we have to follow, and the evaluation was based on that. But before I get into the winners and who won what and what happened and what did we actually do, I want to tell you that this, this, um, this is a cycle that is going to take place uh, twice a year. This is not just going to be one thing every single year. This is twice a year. It's going to take place always during our annual forums in January as well as August. Uh, this cycle, um, the one in 2019, we had the nominations provided by the VPs and the executive directors for the campuses. Moving forward is going to be self-nomination. If you believe that you meet the criteria, you're up for the award, and we would love to see you on the stage in the next cycle, you will self-nominate yourself. It goes through the department head or the campus director, not to accept or reject, but to provide his or her comments, and then from there straight to HR for the evaluation process and then for the committee to make the decision. So that's, that's, that's really good uh, that you can step up and, and, and nominate uh, yourself, and we would love to see more and more of these nominations in the upcoming cycles. Now, obviously, the exact dates uh, and the plan for this will be announced very shortly, but then again, you're very highly encouraged to nominate yourself or even nominate who you would know that is really uh, worth of the award. So let me start. Let's go back to uh, celebration. Again, I reiterate, I am counting on you to make this not the last day for me. But actually, he's looking at me, okay? Outstanding employee. I'm going to review with you the criteria. I'm going to get into a little bit of a detail around this just to make sure that you're all aware of what the criteria is. And when it comes to the first category, the outstanding employee, the criteria is very straightforward. We've got a number of things that we have to look at, and as you can see, it's really a yes or a no. And if you have a, at least one yes in all of this, in that order, then you're qualified. So as you can see, you're a winner of a medal in the Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Government Excellence Award. You're an outstanding member of a team or an organizational unit that won uh, one of the Government Excellence Awards or you're a winner of any other excellence award in the country at the federal level or even internationally, you're shortlisted to compete for a government excellence medal, so you don't have to be a winner even if you're shortlisted. And then the last one, again, you're an outstanding member of a team or a unit that has been shortlisted for one of the government excellence awards. The winner in this category is very close to my heart. I have been with her for the last four years. You're all close to my heart, there's no doubt, but this one is totally special. So the winner is Anna, Anna Liazidi. Yes, 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 that's what I want. That's the kind of cheering. Come on, yeah, more. So Anna, uh, Dr. Abdel Latif, uh, please, I'm sorry, please come to the stage. I was looking into your eyes, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Anna is an outstanding employee and the winner of the founder, uh, leading the, uh, the leader founder award, the Gaizat al Qaid al Muasis, as the best administrative employee in the federal universities here in the UAE. She won that award in 2019. She has joined in March 2014, and during her journey with HCT, she was a real example of outstanding employees. Yes, yes. come on, yeah, more, more, more. Congratulations, Anna. Congratulations. All right. The next category is um, the exceptional. Now, this one was really tough. We had about uh, 13 nominees. They were really exceptional. However, the trick in this category is that you've got to be exceptional beyond your day-to-day -day job, beyond your job description, beyond whatever is in your performance. And maybe there was an issue with understanding really the beyond aspect, and that's why we've only had one that won this award. 
But again, a lot of more awareness will come on the way, and I'm sure that we have a lot of exceptional employees that have done a lot of things beyond their effort. So quickly, the criteria, exceptional efforts that are not within the uh, nominee's duties, responsibilities, and individual objectives. These efforts are represented in the development and streamlining of procedures that led to improved productivity, exceptional efforts that contributed to the achievement of HCT goals and objectives, exceptional efforts in coping and overcoming uh, challenges and obstacles, and last but not least, a real team player. And the winner is, again, another great person that I know personally has done an excellent, excellent job. Mohamed Balauda, please. Mohamed played a key role in dedicated exceptional extra efforts which led HCT to achieve the Golden Award and the new best entry in the Middle East from the Royal Society of the Prevention of Accidents. Those awards are the most prestigious in the world of occupational health and safety, and obtaining those awards ensures that HCT is meeting the national and international occupational health and safety. Congratulations, Mohamed. The next category, the unknown soldier. Now, who would you think, what would you think the number would be when it comes to the unknown soldier in HCT? Yes, all of them, you know. We've got 11 nominations, all of them are winners. All of them are unknown soldiers. And I'm sure that if you self-nominate yourself, you will have hundreds of unknown soldiers in HCT. Again, quickly when it comes to the criteria, this is confined only to service delivery, whether we're talking about student services or internal services. Uh, demonstrates good conduct, adheres to official working hours, exert additional efforts uh, noticed by supervisors and co-workers, and cooperative and helpful with colleagues. Again, we've got a good number of award winners. I'm gonna call your name. As I call your name, please come onto the stage to receive your recognition. And then we will have a group photo at the end. I think we should have had a group photo as well, right? You wanna have them all one time to go? Okay, fine. So. Ayman and Safadi from Rasa Kema Campus Officer Facility. Please come onto the stage. The next one would be Mariam El Belushi. Yeah. <laughs> here, of course, right? <laughs> Mariam is here. So Mariam is an efficient, professional, dedicated, and approachable employee. She's a key team member who assists with tasks, projects, deadlines, beyond her role and responsibilities. Punctual, dedicated, enthusiastic, amazing, amazing. Okay, I would ask you to stay with us, please, uh, Mariam, on the stage. The next one would be uh, Muna, Muna Al-Bustami, uh, Abu Zabi campus. Oh, very good, you get help. Mona is a very well, uh, very positive, cooperative, and uh, trustable employee who exerted efforts noticed by everyone working with her, dedicated hard worker, aims for results and achievements in addition to working beyond uh, working hours. Congratulations, Mona. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on, come on. The next one, Kinda. Kinda Jadallah, Alain Campuses. So, Kinda, follow up and commitment capabilities are the main characteristics of Kinda, which allowed her to handle extra tasks, meet all deadlines, and goes beyond her role to ensure the smooth running in academic services in Alain Campuses. Kinda was a successful coach of four summit champions, and two of them were recruited in HCT. Congratulations, Kimmy. The next one would be Jitin Joseph. Is he with us? Jitin, hey, here we go. Great individual. Jitin demonstrated exceptional conduct, complied with the policies and procedures, dealing with respect and cooperation with all stakeholders. Since he joined in 2019, has so many initiatives that impacted the recruitment process positively. He has initiated efficient utilization of recruitment resources and saved around 300,000 dirhams in one year. You've got to get some of that money, by the way. Congratulations, Jiddy. 
All right, moving on. Uh, Sharina El Hamiri, <laughs> Education Technologies. Sharina. Sharina always demonstrates good conduct, consistently meets deadlines with a positive can do attitude. She's empathetic and genuinely interested in the welfare of HCT community, particularly her faculty and their students. In addition, that she's always punctual and maintains a good record of her attendance. Congratulations, Sharia. <laughs> the next one is Fatma El Zahmi, uh, Sharjah campus. Are you with us? No? Okay. Fatma, you're not here? You're not here. All right. The next one would be uh, Lubna. Lubna Steak. Yes, yes, yes. I know that one coming. All right. Lubna is a hard worker who exerts additional efforts with uh, great achievement records, demonstrated exceptional conduct, and always deals with respect and cooperation with all stakeholders, with her commitment capabilities, Lubna is committed to deliver the highest quality work on time. And the next one is Abrar. Abrar Makawi. Yeah, very well. Yeah. We wouldn't have presence on social media if it wasn't for Abrar, by the way. Since she joined in, 29, in 2009, Abrar demonstrated an excellent conduct, a very positive mindset and creativity. She's always uh, striving to innovate and excel in her role. With her clear records, Abrar did a great job and always approached her duties with the can-do attitude. Congratulations, Abrar. The next winner, Mustafa. Mustafa, all right. Yeah, come on, with your camera. <laughs> come on. Mustafa is a hard worker who exerts additional efforts noticed by colleagues and managers, very focused to meet deadlines, and his quality of work is great and always maintained even when under pressure, in addition to his great cooperation work team abilities. Congratulations, Mustafa. And last but not least, winner in this category is Arwa Abu Saud from the President and CEO Office. Shall we hear? Arwa always demonstrates good conduct, consistently meets deadlines with a positive attitude, hard worker, always strives to excel in her role, consistently adheres to official working hours, and even working beyond to achieve and meet all her requirements. Congratulations. Congratulations, Arwa. Now we're moving to another really tough uh, category. It's called the creative employee. By virtue of its name, you will probably guess that it's really tough. Not only that we're looking for creative ideas, but we're also looking for the impact of the implementation of those ideas. So as you can see from the criteria, it's gotta be exceptional, it's gotta be creative, it's uh, gonna be implemented, the results are out there, they can be measured, they can be realized, they do contribute to personal or professional or institutional uh, benefits, and last but not least, if they're documented in some sort of a publication or research or a presentation in a conference. Very stringent, again, we've got a number of uh, very, very, very good applications and nominees. Um, only three were awarded this category. So again, I'm gonna call the name, and if you please come to the stage. The first one is Saravana, Mur Saravana Murthy. And please, excuse me if I'm not pronouncing your name correctly. Saravana. <laughs> Um, Sarvana contributed to design and development of the grades journey workflow, a unique creative suggestion to utilize the Blackboard functionality and enhancing it to meet the HCT grading and assessment requirements. This has impacted system-wide end users, both faculty and students, in a high and positive and productive way, and was invited by Blackboard to their 2019 World Conference, where he received the Blackboard Catalyst Award. Congratulations, Sarvana. The next one on the same category, the next winner, is Maisara Shoaib. Again, another great, great individual. <clears throat> Maisara initiated area utilization uh, study and application and the blanket agreement initiatives. The area utilization study contributed to utilization of the classrooms and the labs in a most efficient way. 
and he has also initiated the blanket agreement that had saving of more than 60 million uh, dirhams in HCT. You really need to get some of that money, by the way. All right, the third and the last one uh, under the same category is uh, Serdar uh, Dalikilik. If I hope that I got that one right. Serdar, uh, Program Coordinator of Aviation in Abu Zabi campus, here he is. Uh, Serdar initiated a creative idea which enhanced the student's safety during uh, training activities and saving more than 2 million dirhams to HCT. The, I don't know what about this money saving all over the place. The idea was dismantling and disposal of an unsafe aircraft and replace it with engine with powers, Boeing 777 aircraft, and to produce the engine stand locally, uh, saving 1.6 million dirhams. Uh, he suggested production of many components from the scrapped aircraft to be used in the practical training courses for students. Congratulations, Serdar. And now we're moving on to the, uh, the last uh, category that we have, uh, community employee. It's about community work. Again, the criteria, it's got to do with social service that has contributed to the community service and development. It does provide evidence of this participation in the performance of it. The community work performed was voluntary, so there was no fees, no reimbursement. The community work performed was outside the working hours. We look into two main criteria here when we do the evaluation, the number of voluntary work completed in terms of hours and the impact of this voluntary uh, work on HCT. We have only one winner in that category, and the winner is Walid al Shahi, <laughs> Russell Kramer Campus. More than 100 hours of, uh, we don't have Walid, oh here he is. More than 100 hours of voluntary work, Walid has promoted HCT in community and created a positive image about it and this community work performed by voluntary without payment from any source, utilizing his capabilities in applied media. Walid participated in many national and international voluntary work and he has transferred this spirit to students and staff and helped students to practice their study in applied media through participating in such voluntary work. Congratulations, Walid. Yeah, come on, bring the energy up. All right, let's go for a group photo now with Dr. Abdul Latif. All the winners, please, to the stage. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Abdel Latif. Thank you to all the winners. We look forward to seeing more and more. Uh, obviously, the winners, it's not just a matter of a photo. There is something for them. So please meet VP Short Service Engineer Abdullah Al Meheri to get your real award, which decides what just happened. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful year ahead of you. Don't send them out yet. All right. Dr. Abdel Latif, you want to say something at the end? Okay. Go ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, before we move to lunch, just one last interaction with you. We have our host campus's director, Dr. Khalid Al Hamadi, here, and we are going to cast lots and give you uh, some sort of a. You have received your numbers, right? Okay, I'm so sorry for those who haven't, but some those who have, you're going to cast them from here, and we'll give you a good token of love. Let's, let's make some noise and see what number it is. We have 145. Do we have 145 in the hall? No. Give me one minute. 145, please. Let's give him a big round of applause.
We have 278. <laughs> Please come to the stage, 278. We found the guy. Three eighty six, three eight six. Do we have the lucky winner in the building? Yes, please. <laughs> we have twenty seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> and we have twenty-seven. Twenty-seven goes one, two, three. We'll, we'll do it again. Two thirty-two. Two thirty-two. We've got a very healthy winner this time. As this would be the last lot. And uh, that should be mine. Oh, uh, 118. 118, please. 118 goes one. Oh, we have? Oh, please, please, please. It's okay. You can come. round of applause for the most electrifying winner. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, that now concludes HCT Biannual Academic Forum. You're now invited to attend a delicious lunch. Thank you for your attendance and your attention today, and please have a safe journey home. Thank you very much.